So um, this ad is sponsored by Anchor. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Well, hello there. This is Robin Norgren. I'm your host for Montessori Creativity and the Meaning of Life. We are going through a series called Love Poems from God, and we're looking through the lens of 12 sacred voices from the East and the West, and um, we're looking at the poetry that they were used as a conduit, uh, and they themselves describe it as love poetry from God himself or herself. And so uh, we're in the feature um, about Thomas Aquinas. And on the, the segment before this one, I gave a little bit of history. So go back in the archi archives to find that. It just says Thomas Aquinas part one. For now, I will be sharing some of the poetry that he has offered us. The first one is called Close to God. One may never have heard the sacred word Christ, but be closer to God than a priest or a nun. The next one's called From My Breath. From my breath I extract God, and my eye is a shop where I offer him to the world. The mandate. Because of my compassion, the sun wanted to be near me all night, and the earth deeded her fields to me. And all in heaven said, We have voted you our governor. Tell us your divine mandate. And I did, and God will never revoke it. Nothing in existence is turned away. More tender is my Lord's heart than any heart has ever been. So when the divine realm asked me to govern it with one simple rule, I looked into its eyes and then knew what to say to any angel who might serve as a sentry to God. No creature should be turned away. The next one, every foot a shrine. Every creature has a religion. Every foot is a shrine where a sacred candle burns. Every cell in us worships God. Every arrow in the bow of desire has rushed out in hope of nearing him. We are fields before each other. How is it they live for eons in such harmony, the billions of stars, when most men can barely go a minute without declaring war in their mind against someone they know. There are wars where no one marches with a flag, though that does not keep casualties from mounting. Our hearts irrigate this earth. We are fields before each other. How can we live in harmony? First, we need to know we are all madly in love with the same God. Thanks so much for stopping by. Make sure and share this with anyone you feel might need um, this kind of encouragement. And then make sure and subscribe in your favorite podcast venue. I truly appreciate you.